Hi everybody, we're going to be doing some um, videos, a couple of videos on um, precision clutch control where we're not going to be using the handbrake, we're going to be using the clutch and gas to control the car. And I'm going to try and talk about how I'm going to do it. So let's just slow down, pretend the car coming up behind me. So I'm slowing down, braking, clutching, first gearing, and as it's about to stop, I'm off the brake little bit of gas, little bit of biting point, and I'm holding it still. Now, if I didn't do that, and I lower the clutch, I'm rolling backwards. Or if I lift the clutch up too much, I'm gonna stall, put too much gas on, it's gonna sc scream at me. So it's a little bit of gas, a little bit of clutch, to find that sweet spot where it's just holding it still. And then when you want to move off, and it's clear, a little bit of gas, and a little bit more clutch. So a little bit more gas, a little bit more clutch, lifting it up, and it'll move off nicely. The, I say that the the idea is so that when you're when you're um, in traffic, you don't always need to use the handbrake. Obviously, if the pause becomes a wait and you're waiting for a long period of time, then the handbrake possibly could be a good thing at that point there, and then you can take the pressure off your feet. Because the more you hold the clutch at the biting point, the more pressure on the clutch, the more chance it's going to burn out. But remember, don't have it super gassed, don't go super high on the clutch, just enough. And that's the, that's the, the skill, the precision, is having just enough of each. So we're going to go ahead at the crossroads, and I'm going to stop at the... So it's on a slight hill as well, so I'm going to stop and use the gas and biting point. So I'm in second gear at the moment, and then there's a car there, braking, clutching for first gear. As a car stops, gas and biting point. And then just... It rolled a little bit, so I lifted the clutch a little bit more to hold it still. And then to move off, a little bit more gas and a little bit more clutch lifting up slowly. And I say a little bit more, I'm only talking about a millimetre there, maybe two, that's all. It's not much. And we're going to go ahead at this little staggered crossroads here. So same sort of idea. Now there's a bit of a speed bump here as well, so I'm popping it into first gear before I get there and gas and a little bit of biting point remember if i lower the clutch too low it's going to roll backwards if we lower the clutch too much it's going to move forwards so i've just got to do enough to hold this as gas and hold it at the biting point just enough to move still or not move at all and then to move forward a little bit a little bit of gas and a little bit of clutch and as i get to the junction just lower the clutch a little bit to hold it still but keep the gas on so i'm on a hill here now and i've got a bit more power to hold it i'm doing one and a half thousand revs and to move off a little bit more gas and a little bit more clutch so it's precision and it just takes practice and if you're wondering when to practice it when you're on your lessons that's the best time you know don't do it in busy times if you're not good at this do it in the quiet side roads like this bit here I could always, now it's not behind me, I could always slow down, pretend there's nothing, I'm giving way to something, so I'm braking, clutching, and pop it in first gear. Now, if I let the car stop for a second, take me off the brake, it's not going to roll. So this is one way you can go gas, a little bit of biting point, and if you go a little bit too high, it's going to move forward, so it's moving slowly. And if you lower it a little bit, it'll stop. So that's the precision again, to move forward, a little bit more gas, a little bit more clutch. It's doable. So this is a great example here. We've got a hill. So I'm just going to slow down this hill as, as a little bit of a show it actually works. And as I'm stopping, first gearing, but before I stop, gas and biting point. Just hold it. If it rolls back, a little bit more clutch. And I'm looking there, one and a half thousand revs. And I'm going to move off. So a little bit more clutch, but keeping the gas going. So I'll do it again. As I'm slowing down, gas goes on and just lift to the biting point. Just hold it. And if it starts rolling a little bit, just lift it a little bit more. And you'll hold it on the on the on on that spot. It won't move back, it won't move forwards. Obviously, if you lower the clutch down, it's going to roll. If you lift the clutch back up, it goes there. If you go too high on the clutch, it's going to move forward so you lower the clutch and we're talking millimeters here not much and this sort of thing you could do at a junction on a hill if you feel confident enough to do that there's nothing wrong with doing this and or if you're in traffic where every time you stop it moves forward 
So if you stop at traffic and, and move forward and you're in a queue, a little bit more clutch will keep the gas going. And as you get closer to them, they're slowing down, you lower the clutch down, go back on the gas, lift the clutch to the biting point to hold it. And as you move forward, you lift the clutch much, much more again. We're not talking a little bit, to the point where you're at the junction, or the, in this case is a roundabout, and it's, it's not clear, so you break in, clutch down, and then you go gas, just before you stop, biting points, so you hold it. And you're waiting for the gap, and then a little bit more clutch. So that's how you want to control it in traffic. So we're going to do a right turn on this roundabout here. Now when we turn right, we're going to hit a quite a steep hill and we're going to practice again that clutch control. And like I say, practice makes perfect. It, that's all it is. So I'm slowing myself down from third to second gear, lifting the clutch slowly, because it's not a rush. Covering the brake still, checking. It's definitely clear, so we're going to enter. As I come round the corner, I'm going to assume there's a queue, so I'm, it's going to force me to slow down on the hill. And for most people, this would be a nightmare stopping on a hill. You know, when you're, the junction is like 10 car lengths ahead of you. So you're slowing down in, in a queue because there's someone broken down. At that point, you completely stop, so you're going to need the handbrake, or you're going to have to go gas and clutch pretty quick. So if the handbrake, gas and biting point, it'll work. Hill start. Or what you could do, as you're stopping, you could go clutch down first gear before you stop gas biting point and hold it you know if you know you're going to move forward in the next couple of seconds then that's fine as you move forward you carry on a little bit more clutch to move it forward and if, if it's slowing down it'll lower the clutch a little bit more you come off the gas and then back on the gas lift the clutch to the biting point and remember it just takes precision and practice to do this and if you're worried about burning your clutch out, then use your handbrake. But um, what you'll find, and I'll stop at the junction, it's quite a steep one here. So I'll lower the clutch down, I mean first gear, a little bit of gas before I stop, a bit of biting point, hold at the biting point, and it's going to save you time. A little bit more clutch to move off. It saves time, and it works. And it'll work for you. you just got to practice it. So let's go and find some busy meeting traffic so we're in a queue traffic straight into first gear let the car stop off the brake gas biting point so i didn't need to find the gas and biting point straight away because i wasn't on a hill then i'm lowering the clutch down covering the brake letting this blue car fly through gas biting point and i've got another queue of traffic ahead of us so we're just going to check what's happening and start slowing down for it. Lowering the clutch, straight into first. Off the brake, gas, hold the clutch at the biting point. Don't come off the clutch, otherwise you're going to fly forward, lowering the clutch down, braking gently. Gas, biting point lowering the clutch down, braking gently. So you're slowing down gradually. I can see in my rear view mirror, there's a big truck behind me. I don't know if he was lost a few minutes ago, because he just pulled over for no reason. We're gonna go left at the roundabout, so when we get close to our signal, because there's no point in signaling in the queue of traffic, because the signal could be on for another minute or two. Get, when you get closer, you stick your signal on. And another little tip also, when you're in clutch control, I'm not coming right off it. I'm holding it, I'm riding the clutch a lot. Lowering the clutch down, braking gently. Gonna go left, getting closer, gas, biting point, signaling. As I lifted the clutch up, it moved, and lowering the clutch down a little bit, just gently tapping the gas. Covering the brake, I'm not, yeah, cover the brake. And it's gas, biting point, to go. So I'm gonna go left at the end of here, Centre mirror left, signal in, covering my brake, covering the clutch. I can see clearly, so I'm going to go look up beyond them and go right at the end of the road. Quite bumpy, and I'm slowing down, can't see. There's the line, someone's blocking the line then. And that's gas biting point. Now I didn't use the handbrake, but it was fairly flat, so I had my foot on the brake and then went gas biting point. But obviously I'm in first gear then, so 
that's the thing and you're going to go through a stage where you're going to pull off in the wrong gear and stall because you're starting to spot the gap so you're starting to see what's going on you've got to remember every time you stop straight into first I'm in third gear at the moment if anyone's wondering doing 29 mile on a 30 road let him get in I'm going to wait here because if the car turns up ahead of me I'm going to have to use the space on the left if the car doesn't turn up then I can just go straight on now I've got my first gear, foot on the brake, in, foot on the clutch. There's a car behind me waiting just like me. That learner's under a bit, a bit of pressure there, unfortunately. But that's good for them. They need pressure. As they come in enough, I'm going to move off, so that learner should expect that. Gas, biting point, and I'm off. At the end of the road, we're going to do a right turn at the junction. It's a bit of a blind junction, so I'll be stopping again. That's it, mirrors and signals. Cover the brake. I'm in third gear at the moment. Clutch goes down for first gear. Straight into first, because I can't see. Right, left, right. Gas, biting points. Person on the wheelchair, crossing the road, so I'm taking my time. And then I'm out of the way. I could just see him through, just past the car then, it was, was about to move off. If you've enjoyed the video, fantastic, and um, watch out for my next video next week.